We've got a great comment there. <laughs> Lubal says, support local woman. That's great. Dark Lord says, said, awesome no. book. Yeah. Put one in every church and synagogue. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> new Bible. Uh, tell us, Kelly, where can we find out more about your vibes? Do you have an Instagram, a Facebook, that kind of stuff? Yes, so I'm on Instagram as, uh, sorry, let me get out here, um, as at kanaguru underscore ZA. Uh, you can join my group on Facebook, Kana Kitchen. A um, lot of really great people there. Um, and yeah, or you can just get hold of me directly if you need to. <laughs> um, I'm usually available. But um, but yeah, otherwise, um, Instagram and Facebook are the two main places that um, that you'll you'll find me. <laughs> and do you have any more books planned, even if they're non-cannabis? No, <laughs> this was my very first book. This was my first book. So, um, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting. I love writing. I used. I come from a, a journalism background. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this was my. We certainly hope it's not your last. And then could I leave you with one last question? Mm -hmm. Do you love or hate male plants? Hmm. Oh, no, I don't mind male plants. They... Everything about cannabis is useful, even the boys. So then we have it folks officially cannabis <laughs> male lives matter. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Kelly, thank you very much for joining us. Guys, we've put the links in the description. Please yes. go buy it. Um, I'm not yeah, sure. Man. Is there an online version, Kelly? Or hard copy only? Uh, there is. You, can, you can get an online version uh, through Amazon. Awesome. That's oh, dope. Nice. That's nice. Dope. We will put all the links below, guys. Please support. I highly recommend this book. It's yeah. like absolutely 100 percent five stars this 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 is definitely dope as fuck it goes on my list of book where i will not tear the margins out for mm. joints mm. it's that good <laughs> and uh for somebody who's been through so much you, you're looking really positive so thank you for that uh, yeah well done keep strong keep shining your light hey? stay lit <laughs> thank you oh thank you very much guys thank you i appreciate it okay Sure, wow. Well, That's pretty cool. Cool thing. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, are they centerfolds? Are they centerfolds? Okay. Awesome I was hoping I see that you go for the centerfolds. I'm like, yeah, let's take the centerfolds. <laughs> yeah, Oaks, yeah, I'm going to have to hold myself back. Eh? So we'll wait till we. Yes, there we go. So, like Joe was saying, it's not so much a cookbook, it's, it's very much Kelly's story and the trepidation she had with it and the results with her. The new I thought like process in, yeah. in choosing beautiful cannabis photo. over chemo and stuff beautiful like that. Photo. I like that that yeah. cover. The cover of the book, like I was saying, is not it's not very intrusive in terms of someone that's very new to it. It's, it's, there's not, there's only one leaf there. So when you get other grow books or any books that are cannabis, oh, it's like stuff. plants, plants, oh, plants, yeah. and you're very intimidated because it is an intimidating leaf. In in for new people, I I, say, I find it beautiful. But it. when you've got this. It's good to give this to someone. It's oh. very easy to read, and they can actually and like it's a soft it's approach. It's bite-sized pieces. It's manageable amounts it, of information. It. It's really. It's not a hard read. You. It's amazing. Very pretty. Yeah, There's beautiful, yes, beautiful pictures in there. Guys, if you have cannabis shops and stuff like that, get the book in there as well. Push the information, guys. And what's very useful is, even though I said it was like a cookbook, it's more of a, it's more of that weed utainment, uh, weed and why genre, where it not so much teaches you recipes, but there are recipes for making a can of milk, can of butter, all those sort of things. So making those key things, tinctures, yes. it, it has all that sort of content. So for someone who's about to begin this new adventure, isn't sure where to begin, and needs to know the basics and needs yeah. something even to make your own suppositories. Gives you the fundamentals of how to just basically use this plant without okay. going into real in depth the government extraction could processes, etc. etc. Et like the boy said, the, the easiest way is the simplest way. Keep it simple. So you read this book and you'll be able to use the medicine at home. Just like when you go, these books are everywhere. You go to canning books and preserving books and, you know, vegetable books. And they sit there on the, on the bookshelf and you open it. Like, oh, yeah, that's. Must be just like that. Plant you grow in the garden. You get some coconut oil or whatever it is that you want to do, and you make that 
just like that. Because yeah, dudes are right. People who resort to using cannabis when they're really sick can be intimidating. The oils and yeah. the capsules. Everyone on Facebook says cannabis is the best bed for her old arthritic dog. She can't do without it. And also, it's more it's like this will help people when you know where the medicines come coming from or how it was made, and you know that there was no. Because when someone buys, like you're saying, yeah, it's intimidating. When you buy oil from someone, it's this black oil, and they open it, and they yeah. smell it, yeah. and they're like, oh my it's god, this doesn't look like I should be drinking it, I shouldn't be putting my body. It tastes like shit. Exactly, it tastes like shit, it's intimidating. When you make it with can of butter, and with coconut oil, it's not black. It's first of all, so it does not come out black. It comes out like a green, it's an infusion, uh, you know, an creamy green yeah. color type thing. And it's not yeah. so intimidating. You can have a little bit, and you're like, alright, this actually isn't this dark stuff that people are selling me and the dark stuff unfortunately is majority well you'll never know what the guy used as extraction or the extractor used yeah. whether it was yeah. isopropyl alcohol yeah. whether benzene he got all the alcohol whether out? he extracted it all out whether yeah, no, there's something no, left no, it's no, not no, um, no, desirable no. to eat that sort of stuff in my yeah. opinion Rick Simpson oil you know he did a good thing but essentially he's the coconut infusion it's, it's is awesome um, because yeah, the coconut oil also helps protect the, the, the yeah, cannabis oil from degrading too quickly in your stomach and helps it get absorbed a lot faster. Because these are all things we don't know, you say? Yeah. Some people are even using funny things after following Rick Simpson oil. Yeah. Acetone, high alcohol. And like old Boomschlang saying, yeah, like coconut oil is transdermal. And That's things exactly like what I was saying, yeah. Already yeah. on its own. Yeah. 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 And it carries its own fat. So you, when you take it, it's ingested immediately. Immediately, like it touches your lip, as it touches yeah. your mucous membrane, it's immediately into your body. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, Whereas right. oil, it's you, it's it's it a bastard. It's, it's a bastard to get it's it in. It takes a while. It's crap. There we go. Yes. Yeah. I make bulletproof coffees. If I replace the bulletproof coffee with a coconut infused coconut oil, with like some heavy THC, I have the most bulletproof bulletproof coffees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But also like we we speak about this like it's a very casual thing for us to sit here and talk about talk about the turps and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. But like uh, Kelly puts in her book here, she was not only dealing with the fact that she was now facing cancer, but there was this thing that she wanted to try this medicine, but the most accessible way really at the time was RSO, which in itself isn't always the safest thing yeah, to that's make. What I was yeah. Yeah. So but she writes about her experience now of making it for the first time. Yeah. Ventilation. Because also a lot of people are so afraid or they're so desperate, they don't even know where to get it. They're gonna end up making it, you know. That's it. Most users are gonna end up making it. It sets you at ease to make it yourself. Um so like I was saying, so you know what's inside it. Yeah. And that's a book to use. It's yep, not rocket science either. Um, South African book, it's awesome. It yeah. breaks it down into beautiful, easy to understand steps. Yeah. Cool. So, <laughs> guys, please remember to vote in this week's poll. Uh, how do you feel about male plants? Love them? Hate them? Not fast. Lou Bell says, juice them, boys. Juice them! Uh, please remember, hashtag Hotbox Show on Instagram to stand a chance to win some Kef merch.